what's good everybody welcome back to another call of duty video rebirth island has been out for a few days now and i've had the pleasure to experience the brand new rebirth island champions quest it's one of the most challenging things i've ever attempted in call of duty i uh, ever uh, definitely a war zone it's one of the hardest new contracts they've ever made and this guy ruin beaky actually was able to drop a solo nuke on rebirth island we're gonna go ahead and watch the gameplay it's my first time watching it and the new contract is so insane i just can't believe he was actually able to do this so that'd be cool one of my first ever reaction videos i want to study this and maybe it'll help us actually drop our rebirth nuke so make sure to check them out in the description below and let's go ahead and see exactly how he gets this done now if you haven't already tried to drop a nuke on rebirth island it's not like any other nuke in the game if you guys don't know on Vondel, Urzikstan, any other new contract in Modern Warfare 3, you've got to get the Geiger counter and then go find the bag. Then you have to find the safe and you destroy the helicopter and then you plant the bomb. Well, on Rebirth Island, it does not work like that. Uh, basically, you start the nuke quest. You have a 10 minute timer overall to actually complete the nuke. Uh, not to complete the nuke, but to grab all the elements. And then you have a 10 minute and 45 second timer and quads. Uh, the timer goes down in each game mode. I'm not sure exactly what it is in solos, which is why I'm also interested in seeing exactly how this works. Basically, there's a 10 minute and 45 second timer uh, per element. Again, that's in quads. I don't know exactly what the timers are for other game modes. I just, I've only tried this in quads and it's almost impossible, man. But anyways, 10 minutes and 45 seconds on each element. In order to get the timer down, though, it's kind of like a most wanted contract. You have to kill people. You can interrogate people. You can execute people, open chests. Basically doing everything, even reviving your teammates, uh, will make the timer go down. And if you die, you get a death penalty, a resurgence death penalty, and uh, the timer actually goes up. And you have to kind of like fight that timer to spawn in every element. So it probably already sounds insane to somebody that hasn't actually tried the contract. I feel like in trios, duos, and solos, the contract might actually be easier. I heard in trios, I heard in duos, the timer is actually like five minutes and 30 seconds instead of 10 minutes. But anyways, that's how it works. Uh, it's insane. It's kind of RNG also, again, in quads, it's especially hard because like the lobby normally dies out pretty fast and you kind of have to depend on the lobby surviving to actually get this done oh and let me go ahead and throw this in as well you have to get money so you guys saw he just ran some contracts he doesn't have a lot of money right now but i know the strategy in quads is to get like a hundred to hundred fifty thousand dollars by doing some contracts and then when the fire cell drops you want to spam armor plates or spam by you know anything armor plates being the cheapest thing but you spam by to make the timer go down and like it sounds really dumb but that's like the main strategy right now. It's like pretty much what you have to do uh, to even have a, a chance to make this work. So I think the timer was actually four minutes and 30 seconds. So definitely a lot easier to do in solos. I mean, it's still solo. So like you got to worry about people pushing you and stuff like that. But still four minutes and 30 seconds. It's a lot different than having to bring down like a, a 10 minute timer. You know what I mean? Also, you guys saw right there, you got to kill. Uh, that brings it down four seconds, which is pretty cool. A little level up action, you know what I'm saying? It looks like he's going for his loadout right now, which is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice this. He already has the rebirth nuke, bro. He's got the camo. He's also got the rebirth nuke skin on as well. Man, I hope I get this stuff soon, bro. We actually have a rebirth contract right now, so maybe we'll drop it tomorrow. But oh, okay, that's a huge kill right there. That's a huge kill. So he's got 20 or two minutes left. As you guys can see, he's gonna interrogate people, which I didn't even know you could do that in solos. And he's going to move around and looks like, yeah, he's going to get the execution. So doing interrogations and executing people is like a really huge thing. But even then, and again, I'm speaking from experience for like the quads new contract. Even then, it only brings it down if you interrogate and execute like 10 or 10 to 12 seconds. Like it's really not worth even like going out of your way to do it. But if you do down somebody, you know, remember to do that. It does help out. But also, like, you don't want to wipe squads, especially when you're spawning in these elements. You don't just want to go around the map killing people and bring your timer down that way. Because, again, the, the lobby is going to die out. You still need three more elements. And then on top of that, you got to wait another few minutes for the, the bomb site to actually drop in the sky. Which is another thing I'm real interested to see in solos. Like, how does he even make this work, man? That's huge. Another execution is definitely huge, bro. I'm so, I am so jealous of this guy. Dude has the rebirth nuke skin. 
the rebirth camo and he's nuking solo right now bro if i was this if i was in this situation i would be like sh i would be shaking so hard i would be so scared anyways he's one second away looks like he's about to spawn in the element and then uh by the way if you so when the element does spawn it spawns on top of you normally it spawns really close uh, this guy is like right next to a building so it's going to spawn on factory roof but still you got to wait for the element to drop out of the sky and then you also have to pick up the next element you guys are going to see here in a bit like he has no i guess he has twenty three thousand dollars, which will kind of help with the well i mean it's only four minutes so like you need significantly less money less than 50 percent money uh to actually buy enough armor plates this guy is shitting on everybody man he has i think he has 13 kills right now that's kind of insane so again four minutes left uh he has to grab the second element uh, by the way for those of you that don't know okay that's a crazy play how did he jump like that where is it please get this kill oh my god what's going on okay there's multiple people anyways for those of you that don't know uh the elements are the same elements that are on vondel so the first one is be and honestly i don't even know what the second two are but i do know what they do the first one is going to be one that live pings you live isn't ping you but it live tracks you for everybody in the game uh, so you have this like champion's quest icon on your character the entire time you hold this by the way in urzikstan and vondel uh, you can actually drop the elements and, and go do your thing and like spawn in the next elements then go back and pick them up but in this, if you drop the element, it pauses the timer, but the other timer keeps going. So, like, you can't progress the contract unless you're holding all the elements. But anyways, the first element uh, live tracks you for everybody in the game. Now, there's, an, like, an icon on your character on the minimap, and they can, like, they can see you through walls. They can't see you through walls, but they can see the icon, and they know you're holding BE. But the second element is going to be one that shock charges you every, like, 5 to 10 seconds. It's definitely on a set timer. Um, I just don't, oh my god, he just died. Is he gonna self? Okay, luckily he got back up. That's insane. Also, the fire cell is live right now, so you guys are gonna see him spend a lot of money. He's gonna just start spamming plates. <laughs> this is, there's no way this is supposed to be what, like, what we're supposed to do. Like, like, Raven did not plan for us to, to drop a nuke by spamming buying armor plates. It's another kill right there. It's a big kill. People are just... I don't, I don't know what these guys are doing. Anyways, the second element uh, is going to shock charge you every like 5 to 10 seconds. Uh, maybe it's like 15 seconds. I don't know. Now, also, if you're playing duos, trios, quads, it's going to shock charge everybody around you. So, it's kind of tough to like stack and fight teams because your, your teammate's going to be shock charging you the whole time. Uh, luckily, though, if you are in close proximity to an enemy, uh, it will shock charge your enemy as well. Uh, as you guys can see also... Oh, bro, there's a there's a person he has to fight to get this element. Oh, my goodness. That's huge. He's got throwing knife, so he got to stab that guy. That dude didn't even shoot at him. It's kind of insane that that guy didn't shoot at him, but I guess that's huge. Okay, he somehow makes it up here. I thought there was a guy up here, but I guess there's not. I guess he jumped off. Anyways. Oh, that's a big kill. Uh, the third element is going to... I got to remember. What is the third element, dude? I think it gasses you or something. I haven't actually done the Vondo Easter egg in a really long time. And I thought I knew what all three elements did. I want to say it fatigues you. I want to say that it gives you like the effect that you get when you're running through gas sometimes. I want to say it gives you that effect. Like it slows you down and stuff like that. I could be wrong though. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, uh, he's spending all his money. He has 12000 left. There's not a fire cell, which kind of sucks. It's going to be like $150 per armor plate. Which isn't that bad. Oh, it's $300. Oh, my goodness. Not good. Not good. So, this is a bad situation to be in. Uh, his overall timer is 2 minutes 50 seconds. And his element's not going to drop for another 3 minutes. He needs to kill this guy. He shocked. Bro, the element shock charged that guy. Oh, my God. The element just shock charged the enemy and won him that gunfight. And now his times... It's a little weird, though. Because, like, the overall timer is going to keep going... Uh, while the element drops, oh, he's got more money. There's a self. I wonder if the self brings up the or makes the timer go down more. Anyways, he's got 20 se a 20 second difference. See, you can't drop the element. Okay, pick the back up. Uh, there's like a 20, 30 second difference on the timer right now, which is huge. He just he still has to wait for the the element to come down out of the sky. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. 
I would assume he's going to bring the timer down more somehow. I would I would have to assume that. I'm not not exactly sure, bro. The shot, dude, I've been in this situation holding these elements on Vondel, and like the shock charge is so freaking annoying, man. And again, if you're playing, you know, anything with teammates, the shock charge can also shock your teammates. So it's like a bad situation. It's not a fun situation to be in, man. Anyways, this guy's got 20 second difference on the shot clock right now. I feel like he's gonna. Oh, he's got chest. Chests are huge. Chests are big. I feel like, though, it's going to be cutting it real close. I don't know, man. It's going to be cutting it real close. Oh, there's another chest that's big. Also, the element's going to spawn on the roof. And uh, he's got Circle coming in. He has a gas mask, which is... Uh, that's big, but... I don't know, man. Ooh, that's huge. That kill was huge. Okay, now he's got like a... A 40, 50 second difference right now. I don't know though, man. Because like I said, the gas is coming in. He's about to, the timer's about to end. And the element's going to drop on top of him, I think. He's still getting shock charged, dude. I would be, I would be so heated right now. Not only would I be heated because the shock charge. That I even have to deal with the shock charge. Oh, no. But also like, I'd be, I'd be literally be shaking right now. Uncontrollably. I would be uncontrollably shaking right now, man. Oh my goodness, that's a huge kill. Okay, that's a big kill right there. So the element's dropped in. He has 20 seconds left. He has to grab the element right now. All right, that's huge. He's got the third one. Oh, it disables radar. So it actually, it's not fatigue. It's actually the same element. So it's not Vondel elements. The only Vondel element is the shock charge. It's actually the first and third element from uh, Urzikstan. And then the second element is a shock charge. Good to know. For some reason, I thought it was Vondel elements, which Vondel also has the same first element, but yeah, it's good to know. It just disables your radar. I don't know what the other thing is, but it, it disabled radar is not really that big of a deal in this situation. As you guys can see, he's awaiting the bomb arrival. Zero seconds on the timer. I think when the bomb spawns, or like as soon as the bomb touches the ground, you have five minutes. It's a really weird situation though, man. There's two guys left. I didn't even think about that. There's two guys left. This dude has 22 kills. I mean, he's obviously not trying to kill anybody, but these guys aren't even trying to kill him. Oh, the bomb is like in gas, dude. I think the bomb is outside of the circle. So I'm a little, I'm a little weirded out though that these guys aren't trying to kill him. Oh, the bomb sight's down. One, two, three. You gotta smoke yourself. I know he's gonna do it. Oh yeah, smoke yourself. Throw the nuke down. Now, here's the thing. Once he plans to nuke, he just has to kill these guys. He doesn't really have to wait. It's going to start a two-minute timer. He's almost dead. Oh, my God, dude. Two minutes left. He's got two minutes to not have a heart attack and die right now, okay? Not just to go into cardiac arrest. Because I would be so scared, man. I would be so scared. Another smoke that's huge. All he has to do, though, is kill these people. There's two people left. I don't even know what I... Dude, if I was one of these other people, I would be running straight at him right now. I would have already I would have already jumped off the roof and ran at him. I, like, I don't know if these guys are, like, camping. I don't know what they're waiting on right now, man. This is really strange to me. This is, a, this is extremely odd in my, uh, my honest opinion. But I guess that's cool. I, I don't know if they're, like... Are they, do they just want to see a nuke go off? Uh, I'm not sure... Not sure what exactly their, their thought process here is. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm just so confused right now. There's, oh, there's one guy. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice. There's one dude left. He's got to kill him, right? There's no way. There's no way we, we sit here for 50 seconds. He's got to kill this guy. 100% he kills this guy. Come on. Just go kill him, man. Oh, he jumped off. Wow. And that's it. That's all she wrote. This dude's gonna play with him. He's gonna play with his food a little bit. He let him get up. Oh my god, dude. And then he solo nuked Rebirth Island, man. I can't believe it. See, I don't want to say that was easy. Obviously, it wasn't easy. But as someone that has only done quads, that looked significantly easier than a quads Rebirth Island nuke.
like significantly easier man anyways i had to try this i had to try this one day imagine if blake incredible dropped a solo rebirth nuke after watching that i feel like i could do it probably would fail a few times but regardless let me know what y'all think in the comments below have you dropped a rebirth island nuke are you gonna try to drop one make sure to subscribe to beaky in the description down below and i'll see y'all soon for the call of duty video man